think I think what's happening now, right, and in like international relations or globally, is that um, yeah, I mean, why the Asian American movement happened during the '60s? It was because there was a um, there was a um, third world independence movement that was also happening, right? So there was a pan African identity, there was a pan Asian identity, but right now we're in a very different historical and political movement, right? Moment, um, but we do see. Um, some groups are united um, together, right, against the kind of Chinese government's um, aggressive um, interventionism, right, in Hong Kong, in Taiwan, in Philippines, right, in the surrounding Southeast Asian countries, right. So that's one way I think this pan Asianism might happen again if we do organize around it, right. But if we don't, and we wanted to benefit from the capital, right, as I don't know. Um, a Chinese corporate as a Taiwanese corporate, <coughs> you know, um, that this might not happen again, right? The pan Asian solidarity. So I think it really depends on what we want to do about it. And something else also happening is, you know, the US is signing uh, the Trans Pacific Partnership. I don't even heard about it. It's a neoliberal trade deal, right? They're trying to intervene uh, what China's doing to unite uh, their own economic and political bloc in Asia, right? So. U.S. trying to um, have its own influence in Asia. So because of that, um, a lot of the um, actually grassroots Asian American nonprofits and uh, political organizations in New York have started to organizing and 